I am late to the gamer and this is part two of my quick builds. This is what's actually been happening with my Technomancer. I'm using the Techmonger set and I'm just gonna get right into it because pretty much this set is complete. I can run through the end of the game with this setup and be perfectly fine. This is about as good as I can make this set possibly be. If you look at the stats, I have max status power. I'm actually nine over. I'm only AT27. And quite honestly, I could just coast by leveling up this gear over and over and over again. And I would do fine for the entire rest of the game, solo or with a group. I use absolute zero with mages rage and fortress with ultimate freezing bullets. Got the status power and critical damage. I got the Thunderbird with Ultimate Storm Whip, Dimensional Rockets, and Fortress. This way, no matter what weapon I'm using, I'm at least able to stack some extra damage to my turrets, and that extra damage is also going to add on to a Dimensional Rockets and the Ultimate Storm Whip. I have the Techmonger's Mask, so my Cryo Turret with Double Trouble has two barrels instead of one, and I have Arms of Anomaly next. And in the third slot, because I have not been able to find a replacement for this helmet, is Purity, which in the long run is actually a, a very good defensive mod. And I swear by it to be really be a help, especially when you're running solo. I have the Techmonger's Vest with twins, so two cryo turrets can be placed, increased damage in the next mod slot, and Icicle Storm in the third slot, which allows me to blow up enemies who are frozen by the skill. I have the Techmonger's Leg Armor with improved coolant, so it doubles the fire rate of the cryo turrets. I got lucky, got Shatter in the third slot, and was able to put Euthanizer in the second. So between those two, Max, I know I'll get an extra 32%. Worst case scenario, I will always be using Euthanizer. The hands, I have Anomaly Echo, Bullet Kindling, and Power Assimilation in the third slot. This is really great for when I'm solo fighting mobs. And plus that bullet kindling actually will be proc'd a lot more than you expect since one of your pack tree nodes will allow you just add on additional status afflictions when you inflict poison. And finally, I've got the boots of the mortal embrace with hail shot, phantom dash, and unstoppable force. The only piece of this set that I really would like to change out are the hands because I would love to get something else on here. I will not need the cooldown status very soon. When it comes to the skills and my skill cycle, I've got Blighted Turret going at 3.5 seconds. I'm using the Cryo Turret to time out when my cycles end and when the next one begins. So I would always start out with Blighted Turret, two Cryo Turrets, and as soon as I can, throw out the next two Blighted Turrets. Then I can actually hold on and wait until my Cryo Turret is ready all over again to begin the cycle with Blighted Turret and two Cryo Turrets. Finally, this is my skill tree, and I've noticed a lot of people tend to go for the vulnerable status to freeze or poison, but I kind of just went with the flat damage. At the level that I'm at right now, I can get my bullets to reach about 3 million per shot, and then I also get the bonus from decay weapons for 30% for 10 seconds, and overclocked for another 40% anomaly damage every 10 seconds. My packs tree is nothing that anybody would not be expecting, And finally, my Ascension Tree, which is a bit incomplete. The only things I need to start working on here is damage mitigation, damage against elites, and I can actually start grabbing some healing received because that's gonna be actually very important later on as you level up into the game. Some health, armor, any of those things would make a difference. I'm late to the gamer, thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like, subscribe, ring the bell, and have a great day.